you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. What's up? How are you? The day after making his major league debut, 21 year old Gavin Lux is still getting comfortable with his big league routine though the presence of some familiar faces are helping to ease his transition. Gavin's family members have made the trip from Kenosha, Wisconsin to watch the Dodgers' top prospect fulfill his childhood dreams. Baseball, historically, in our family, has it's all we know. Uh, my dad was a pitcher in the minor leagues. He started coaching when he stopped playing. My brother worked out with him from the time he was a little boy. Uh, I had Gavin involved in everything, gymnastics, swimming, basketball, soccer, you name it, I said it was gonna be his choice as much as I was hoping for baseball. I remember he was about six, seven years old and he came to me and he said, mom, do I have to do all this other stuff? And I said, no, what do you wanna do? And he said, my heart's in the shape of a baseball. And that was it. And he pretty much went baseball 100% after that. At a young age, Gavin dedicated himself to baseball and had a dream to one day play professionally, enlisting the help of someone who had once had a similar goal. My uncle, Augie Schmidt, uh, he was a first round draft pick, second overall pick. Those were the good times, you know. I had a great college career and got picked, lucky enough to get picked second in the draft. Unfortunately, it didn't go as well for me. You know, I was involved for four or five years and I was pretty much out of it. I got ran out of pro ball because I couldn't deal with failure. Maybe wasn't strong enough to make all the right decisions. I passed a lot of that on to him. He knew at a very young age that baseball is going to kick his tail some days, and he understands it. And he accepts the fact that it's just that difficult. His uncle was a little hands off at first. Didn't want to pressure him. Didn't want to say, "Hey, let's go take you know ground balls or go hit BP." Gavin would always go to him, and then that's when he finally knew, "All right, he's ready." And that was probably when he was. 12. I mean, I remember going one day over to where his uncle coach is. He was right out in the infield with the college baseball players taking ground balls at 12. A lot of what we talk about is more the mental side of the game, and it's not always necessarily about my swing or what I'm doing defensively. A lot of it's, you know, dealing with mental failures and how to deal with it. So after every game, he's another guy I pretty much call, and then we go over everything. and. He's kind of been my rock, uh, especially when I've been struggling. People give me a lot of credit for the physical side of things, you know, the throwing batting practice to him and, 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 and hitting and, and that type of thing. But I think really where I've helped him the most is the mental side. It all happened after Christmas, his senior year in high school. Um, you know, up until that point, I was still thinking probably college would be his route. All of a sudden, he started filling out. We came out that spring, and I was throwing to him. He had some famous batting practices for a whole lot of scouts that spring, and the ball was just coming off the bat differently. And he started filling out, and he was just turning into a man right in front of me. And that's when I started thinking, you know what? You know, maybe college ain't gonna be his road. The Los Angeles Dodgers has a nice collection. Work. Here we go. Good with this one. With the 20th selection of the 2016 MLB draft, the Los Angeles Dodgers select Gavin Lux, a shortstop from Indian Trail High School in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Hey, Gavin, it's Billy. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Hey, I, I, I'm so excited, man. I, I really am, I mean, I'm like mind blown right now. I know, what, <laughs> what'd you think, man? Did you, any idea we might have interest in you? Um, I thought you guys had interest. I just didn't know um, really like what to expect, I guess. Yeah. But man, I'm, I'm pumped up, man, I really am. I love to hear that. Stay, keep my number and I'll stay in touch, okay? Perfect, thank you so much. All right, Gavin, have a good one. After being drafted, Lux found immediate success in the minor leagues and had progressed to double-A Tulsa by 2018. That season, 
Lux helped power the drillers to a Texas League championship and was also named the Dodger organization's minor league player of the year. Fans, please give a warm welcome to the Branch Rickey minor league position player of the year, Sorry, again. Gavin Lux. This year, Lux was invited to spring training with the major league club before being optioned back to AA Tulsa to start the season. But the stop was only temporary. Got bumped up then to AAA, and then he went on that crazy stretch uh, right after he got moved up. That crazy stretch where Lux hit for a 392 average with 13 home runs and 39 RBIs, also caught the attention of other teams. Gavin, now the organization's top prospect, often heard his name mentioned as a trade asset to help improve the major league club. I honestly shut off my Twitter because I had a ton of people tweeting at me saying, you know, hey, we should trade you or we shouldn't trade you. And I was like, OK, I'm sick of this. I'm turning off my Twitter. So that's kind of what I did to, to, you know, keep my peace of mind. Realized that it was, a, you know, a little bit of stress on him. Another example, though, he didn't let it affect him. It didn't affect his play on the field, and he just kind of hammered through it. Gavin's efforts earned him Baseball America's 2019 Minor League Player of the Year Award. Holy smokes, what a bomb by Gavin Lux. The Dodgers did not want to part with their prized prospect and eventually promoted him to the major leagues. Is this the Lux crew? Is this Mrs. Lux? Mrs. Lux, hi, I'm Dave Rowell. It's a pleasure. Oh, no, thank you. You guys have done a great job with Gavin. We love him. So thank you. It's good to have you guys here. Thank you. Of course, of course. You guys did the hard work. This is the easy stuff. We're, in, we're reaping the fruit. Hi, I'm Dave Rowell. People don't understand how hard it is just to play one day in the major leagues. Unfortunately, I do know how hard it was. And so it, it, I don't think you can be prepared. And uh, so you don't really know quite how it was going to play out. And uh, obviously, it, it played out well. And uh, I'm just really proud of the kid. What I'm most proud of is how he's handled everything. And when I hear compliments about him giving back and, and being a good person and his work ethic, those are the things that you know, we hope to instill in our kids as parents. And I think he has done an incredible job there. And I'm so incredibly proud, and of course, of everything he does on the baseball field. Thank you. Hey, enjoy your stay, and uh, we'll take good care of my phone. I, I just want to be here and have fun. And um, I'm enjoying this opportunity and getting to know a lot of these guys more and more. And I'm um, just going out there and competing and, and trying to help this team win games. And um, you know, whatever happens after that happens. I can't control any, any of that. So I'm just going to go out there and compete and have fun and let the rest kind of take care of itself. Yeah. 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 Yeah.